everyone and welcome to another Pokemon card video. Today is the finale for Chespin week and we have the Chespin deck, the X and Y Kalos starter set. There's actually another Chespin deck that I think is the same but it doesn't have the promo cards. Not exactly sure how that works. Once we get the Froakie I'll show you guys the basic one because I have the basic for that but finding the basics for Finnegan and Chespin were not really that easy so I decided to skip on them but I'm pretty sure they're the same thing this is just considered like the deluxe starter deck but what we're gonna do today guys we're gonna go through this look at all the contents of the pack there is a booster pack in here as well there's some promos and of course the pre-built deck but what I'm going to do is actually play the trading card game online over on my computer so we're, we're gonna take a look through this then we'll hop on the computer and play some of that and I think this is only the second time I've ever played the TCGO on this channel. So I think it'll be pretty fun. And I want your guys' feedback. Do you think that I should do more TCGO videos, the trading card game online? Because the thing is, I don't really want to open a ton of packs online and try to build really good competitive decks. But the starter decks are fun. They're simple. They're easy enough to just drop a code in, get the deck pre-built for you. So I was thinking maybe whenever a new set comes out, usually they release two starter decks. So I was thinking maybe I could play those starter decks online whenever the new sets come out. But anyways, let me know what you think about that idea, and maybe I could also do some of the older sets that are already out. But for now, let's just go ahead and open this guy, and check out the contents. And I'm kind of destroying the box completely. Well, that's alright. Eh. There we go. So that's all it is. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of stuff here. We'll look through all of this, don't worry. But first, let's take a look at these promos. Oh wow, these are not even promos, technically. Let me, let me point out what exactly these are. I've had some of you guys comment lots of times just over the past year of me doing this and all that. And you guys have had cards similar to this and you were confused as to what it actually was. So let me get all these out of here and I'll try to explain. Alright, so if we take a peek at the bottom of these guys, you'll see that they actually have... Let me see if I can get close up there. They actually have like this card. They have 3 out of 39 and they have like XY right there. There are some sets that are just from the theme decks. Uh, for example, this set is not a promo card, but it's also not a part of the X and Y base set. It's not a part of the Flash Fire set. It's not a part of any of that. It's a part of its own set just for the theme decks, basically. So that's what that is. So that's true of like a lot of different sets. So if you ever see something like that, just some weird symbol with a pretty low number, it's probably what it is. But here we have a Chespin, which is pretty cool. I actually really love the rainbow look right there. That's actually a really nice art. I might like that even better than the promo one we got. We also have, of course, the Quilladin. The same effect, the same style. It's probably, yep, all by 5-band graphics. They do a lot of the 3D type art. And of course we have Chestnut. Very cool. Which is number 5. So this is number 3, 4, and 5. So there's probably something else inside the, uh, inside the tin that's lower than that. Maybe like the... Uh, non-holographic versions of these or something. So those are those all three of those. I will sleeve all these up as well actually. Let's go ahead and sleeve all three of them. Might as well. So that's probably, unless we get something out of the uh, booster pack in here, that's probably just about all the cool holographic shiny cards for this uh, Chespin week I guess. There we go, all three of them sleeved up. Alright, let's take a look at the rest of the stuff here. So we have the actual Kalos starter set deck right here, which comes with a little deck box. Not a fancy sturdy deck, bo deck box, it's kind of just something you see with a normal set of playing cards. So we'll open that last. Right here we have the code cards. So this we can actually use to get the deck online. Just making sure I'm focused here. Now I'm not going to give this away. Some people were commenting saying that I'll forget and then I'll end up giving this away. But no, that one is actually a code that I will use for myself so I can actually play this deck. We have a Legendary Treasure black and white uh, booster pack, which is a very cool set. We also have a Chespin coin right here. So here's a close up on that. It's a pretty cool coin, just a very basic plastic green coin there. Let's see if I can get perfect focus. Good enough. And then we have this right here, which is just damage counters. So when you're playing the game, you'll deal damage, and you'll put these damage counters on there. So that represents 10 damage, 50 damage, 100 damage. I think this represents poison and burn, something like that. So just little, little things like that. We have a list here. I think this might be a card checklist. Oh, there you go. So this is actually what I was talking about. So Weedle and Pantage will be number one and two. So this is the X and Y Kalos starter set. Use the checkboxes below to keep track of your Pokemon TCG cards. So this is the 39 card set. It's a little bit hard to see. Sorry about that, guys. It's hard to keep focus on such a big thing. But I think that through the course of these three sets, you'll probably get all these. So the greens are probably from the Chespin deck, the blues from the Froki deck, and the reds from the Fennekin deck. So I'm guessing if you actually go ahead and get all three, which we do have, we'll probably complete the set. And the last thing that's in the box here, we have 
a play mat, basically. So on the front side, oh gosh, this is gonna be hard to show you guys. But on the front side, it has this little play mat. Here, let me, let me go ahead and, I don't do this very often, but let me take my camera off the tripod here so I can kind of lay this out and show you guys. So you basically, you would put all your bench Pokemon here. You have your active Pokemon, your prize cards. So this is basically just a layout to play the game. But on the other side, there's actually some more stuff here. And this is basically, I know you can't read any of this, but this is basically how to play the game. So this is kind of the rule book there. So that's all that's about. But let's go ahead and set you guys back down and let's actually take a look at that booster pack and then the starter set as well. Oop. Let me readjust everything. <laughs> Very professional, I know. So we're gonna drop that down there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Legendary Treasures booster pack. It's been a while since I opened one of these, but a very cool set because they always have like these crazy shiny sparkly cards. So there's the code card for that one. I'm actually not gonna do the card trick. I don't think it works for this set. But here we have a Solosis. There's Trubbish. Ooh, that's a very nice Zoro. I think I have that, but it's just a beautiful card. We've got Piplup. And we have a Reverse Holographic Bullpix. You can see we're only like a few cards into the pack and there's already the Reverse Holographic, so you can see it's a weird set. But behind that we have a Fion, which is actually the rare. So we have a rare right there, Reverse Hollow, then the rare. Then behind that we have ourselves a Radiant Collection Spi uh, Sparkly Pikachu. So every pack has something from the Radiant Collection set, which is like a subset. In Japan it was a totally separate set, but in English they just went ahead and tossed it into this set. So there's number 7 out of 25. And then we have a Servine, there's a Shuckle, a Gabite, and that's it. So that's kind of how that set works. Pretty cool. I love the sparkly cards. The Radiant Collection is pretty cool. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at our Chespin deck. So there's a close-up of the deck itself. But you guys just want to see the cards. I'll go through this pretty quickly. A lot of it's going to be duplicates because that's kind of important to actual, actual decks. You can see it's 60 cards right there. So let's just quickly flip through here. We have couple of grass energies. There's a chestnut, so that's going to be number five, but this one's a non-holographic version, so just a little difference there. Got another energy. There's a Pokeball Trainer. There's Bunnelby, and we'll see these cards again on the actual TCGO, so you'll see me actually use these. I'm thinking they come in a preset order so you can follow along, or maybe they're just pre-shuffled. I don't know. So we got Fairy Energy. There's a Quilladin, Snubble, Fairy Energy, Snorlax, and Chespin. More energies. Pan Sage, Fairy Energy, Snubble, more energies. So there's a switch card and a Quilladin. Pokeball uh, Tierno, which is draw three cards. There's a Swirlix. Cool to see Swirlix in the set. So this is a grass and fairy theme deck, as you could probably tell. Potion and Pokeball. So just a lot of the same here. Oh, there's actually a different card. We have a Granbull. And there's a Mill Tank as well. Sit down, splash. A lot of these uh, pre made decks will have. No, neutral color cards, so they'll have the colorless cards, because they kind of fit into anything, I guess, technically. Some more duplicates, there's another Pan Sage, another Swirlix, another Weedle, and I think we've seen probably just about all there is in this deck. So there you go, that's the whole deck. So with that, let's go ahead and hop over on the computer, and we'll play some games. Alright guys, here we are on the Pokemon TCGO, and the first thing I'm noticing, I'm not sure if they did this before, but you actually have like these four little buttons, and you get to see some of the illustrations from the card game. Or from, I think these are from the actual, the pack arts. You can see them in all of their high definition glory. So this is kind of awesome. You get to see the full illustration. So definitely something I plan to check back for every time there's a new set. There's also this little bouncy thing. Let me click that, see what that does. Uh, daily bonus, day one. Today's daily bonus is five trainer tokens. Checking in tomorrow to earn the next item. Okay. Well, I guess that's something we could do to get some points. But what I want to do is actually go to here and redeem codes. I was looking at the code card, the one that we have for this, and it says that this card gives you access to this deck for play in the Pokemon TCG Online Trainer Challenge. So I'm not sure if that's against computers or if we can actually fight players with this. Either way, we'll play some games. Let's go ahead and enter the code. I will cut this out so you guys don't have to sit here and watch. There we are. So this is my Chessman deck. You guys can see the code, but it's already going to be claimed because I'm claiming it right now. So this, okay, right there, earlier in the video, I actually mentioned that there's like the basic versions of the decks and the deluxe edition. This is the basic edition. This is exactly what it looks like. So that is actually another product you can buy. But we have this deck with your collection to open it. So let's go ahead and do that. It should be all the same cards that we already had. Uh, how do we open it? Open it up. Uh, these cards have just been added to your collection. Play this deck in the trainer challenge to earn your to earn trainer tokens. If you defeat 12 trainers, you'll earn a booster pack. I guess we're going to have to go to the trainer challenge then. Every, play every player begins in the gold league. Defeat each trainer in the gold league and you will unlock the platinum league. 
options. So here we can choose our deck. Enchanted Echo, this is actually a Furious Fist theme deck. I think the only video I've made of this game was from that deck. Of course, there's also all these basic decks that, that come with the game. But we're going to go with our Chessman deck here. We also have to select a trainer. I'm not sure if this is the opponent or if this is us. But we're going to be a grass deck, so maybe we should go up against something we'll be good against. So let's go up against Calvin. It looks like I might have already played a bunch of these guys. Well, let's find out. Um, I guess we don't... Oh, there's us! Yo, look at me, I've got that little scruff. Yo. Alright, my turn. For anyone who doesn't know this game too well, I'll try to walk you guys through it. It's a pretty simple card game. Actually, the Jay Wits, another Pokemon YouTuber, I'm sure you guys know him. He did a series on how to play this game, so definitely check that out if you like. So this is my opponent's hand. Basically, they don't have a basic Pokemon to play, so they're showing me their hand, and they're gonna have to shuffle it back in, which allows me to draw a card if I'd like. Uh, I get to choose my own starting Pokemon. Let's see, Snubble's not bad. I think I'm gonna start with Swarlex, because he can heal himself, so maybe we can stall just to set up there. And for the bench, let's go ahead and set down my uh, Snubble there. Your opponent had no basic Pokemon and had to draw a new hand. Would you like to draw a card? Sure. And we... Uh, no, I'm not going to have that. So he drew a Fairy Energy. Waiting for some pictures to load there. I'm going to go ahead and play an Energy onto my Swirlix right here. He has a Kyogre up front. Holy crud. I guess I could play some of this stuff. What does this do? Oh, crud, I just played it. I just wanted to look at it. Well, we got a Tails. So we could have, I guess, gotten like a Slurp Up if that's even in the deck. I don't think it is, actually. Uh, we could also draw three cards. Might as well. And we have a Switch. We've got a Quilladin. Uh, you know what? We could play Mill Take down. Maybe we'll start playing some energies on that next turn. But for now, I think we're going to go ahead and attack if we can. Can you attack on the first turn? Oh, there. Now I can retreat. I guess you can't attack on your first turn, so we're going to go ahead and end. I did not know that, so that's me learning some of the rules here. Shuffle your hand into your deck and flip a coin. All right, so he's going to shuffle that in. And he might get seven cards. If he gets tails, he gets four. Oh, we got the seven. All right. Gotta load all those pictures. So he gets a, a switch. I, oh, he's playing switch. Swapping out a Loma Mola. Is that weak to grass? I need to get a grass type. Where's my chestman at? Okay, he's playing some trainer mail there. Another one. So basically, he gets to look at four cards on his deck and reveal a, uh, an, a trainer to us. So we got a fossil there. He's going to play the fossil. He might have uh, some kind of fossil deck here. There's a hard charm. Oh my gosh. He is setting up to wreck us here. Oh, there's our chessman, though, so we got that going for us. We're not going to be able to evolve to Quilladin quite yet, but I think what we can do is we can power up to chess or to Quilladin, and then we can just use a switch to get some damage going. So let's go ahead and drop down that uh, energy to start, and now let's go ahead and attack. I guess I could have switched chessman already and got the double damage, but I don't know. Maybe that was the best option, but I, I guess I kind of I done goofed. So they're going to go for a super dive. Which heals 30 damage from them. Okay, they, they heal 30 anyways, so even if I did the 20 damage instead of 10, really we're in the same situation. And he switches out to Kyogre, who has, again, a weakness to grass. Ooh, we've got a Pan Sage too. But I think what I'm going to do here is actually drop this onto this guy. Uh, okay, it's going to keep all the energy here. So we're going to drop down a Quilladin. Now he's going to have a two energy attack, which I think is 20, right? Let's take a peek. Uh, it's going to heal 10 and do 20. So if we do one more energy on him, that's going to be pretty good. I think what I'm going to do is retreat. And it only costs one, so we're going to do that. It's going to discard the energy card. And we're going to swap out the Quilladin. This way we can start getting some big damage going. If he doesn't kill me next turn, I should be able to kill him next turn. So we're going to do Loot Seed, hit for 40. And next turn we can do Needle Arm to hit for 100. Oh, but he's powering up. Oh gosh, he got a Heads. Oh no! T okay, Heads, Tails. So he only did 30 damage there. Whew, that could have been scary. Oh, we have Chestnut. I don't know. Do I want to evolve that already? I guess I could. There's not really any harm to doing that. So we're going to go ahead and evolve. Don't show that again. And we have to have three energies to use the other attack. But thankfully, we've got a fairy energy right here. Because that's a colorless one, it could use any color. We're going to drop that on there. And I guess we'll just attack. Take out his Kyogre with our Needle Arm. Kaboom! 130 HP. Because he's weak, we just did 100 instead of just 50. I guess that's going to let us draw. I'll choose this one. Ooh, that actually might be handy. We could draw three cards with that. We might... Oh, yeah, dude. Alomomola has 50, so we can actually one-shot. Or they're just going to swap out again. Never mind. But Buizel also weak to grass, so we're doing pretty good here. I could use a Pokeball to fish for something, but I'm just going to use Tierno. Got ourselves some more energies. 
Ooh, what's that? Uh, flip a coin, defense this attack does 40 more damage. So against a grass weakness, we'll do 160 plus a potential 80. So we could do up to 240 damage right here. So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and beef this guy up. Now, putting all my cards into one dude might be bad if they happen to kill me, but you know what? Whatever. We would have killed him with the other attack anyways, but who cares if we got tails? I just want to do big numbers. Come on! Take that, Weasel. All right. So even if he has something that's not weak to grass, we should be in a pretty good spot. He's got that Alomomola. Oh, wow. He's, oh, he's just doing super deep dive again. I thought he had enough for Surf, but I guess not. So he's just going to keep swapping around. I, I don't exactly know what that does. Uh, let's see. Flip a coin to Pez's deck is 20 more. Maybe I should beef up that mill tank, or I could just play Pan Sage. We could beef him up, or even Snorlax. Uh, now let's let's beef up Pan Sage. I don't think I have a Pan. Uh, gosh, what's the evolution? Simi Sage. I don't think we have that. But we'll go ahead and beef him up a little bit, and I guess we're going to attack. Knock this guy out. Again, the tails, but that doesn't matter right now. We are just in a huge lead. I mean, to be fair, I kind of show someone who's going to be weak against me. we got a second Quilladin, so now we've got way too many. We need more Chespin here. It's probably doing the same thing here with Super Deep Dive. Yeah, I guess Surf wouldn't actually take me down, so maybe he's avoiding that. Again, we're just going to keep sweeping through everything, one-shotting all the things. Uh, I guess I'll play a card on Snubble, just in case I draw a Grand Bull. But really, I think we've got this one in the bag. I don't think there's any way we're going to lose this crud. Even though I've gotten so many tails, it just doesn't matter here. All of his guys just don't have enough HP to survive against Chestnut. There's a Chestpin, so even if he takes down this Chestnut somehow, by some miracle, we still have a backup Quilladin. Okay, he's got a Moro here. And there's the 80 damage. That's going to bring me up to 110, but that's not enough to kill me. And I think what we're going to do is just play down this Chestpin, give it an extra card, kill this guy... And, well, if he doesn't kill my chestnut, we definitely win. Even if he kills it, we probably still win. So this is a pretty free game right now. What you got? Oh, I got a draw. We got another Pokeball. All right. Don't really need to use that, though. I could use it to fish for another chestnut, but I just... I really just don't need to. So he's got to shuffle your hand in your deck to draw six cards. So that got him a bunch of cards, but it just doesn't matter. Just going to go right for the attack. And that is going to be the victory. We won by getting all of our prize cards. There's other ways you could kill them. Actually, we kind of double one right there. One of the ways to win is to knock out all of their active Pokemon. The other way is to draw, or one of the other ways, is to draw your prize cards. So we just got the double victory, basically, right there. I guess we got a Pokemon token or a Poke token for that. Took us 7 minutes and 21 seconds. But all right, guys, I guess just a very basic game right here. I guess if you continue to fight them, it'll actually level them up so they'll be more difficult. But that's one out of all of these defeated, so I guess there's a whole bunch more. Let me know if you guys want to see more TCGO videos. I could do some, uh, of course, I want to do some in the coming weeks with the Fennekin and Froakie deck. But I think for now, this video is already getting pretty long. We're going to call things here, and I'll see you guys next week for the Fennekin week. Take care.